Hey, hi guys. I'm Jitin Vasani. So I'm here in Bali in DMSX uh, conference. So I'm sitting with the guy who's known for gray hair, black hair, white hair, everything in SEO, Charles Float. So Charles, can you share, like, how did you start your journey into SEO? Like, man, you have been doing from so, so long, long time, right? Yeah, so I've done SEO for nearly 11 years now. I think it's actually 11 years at this point, um, despite my babyish looks. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so I started in SEO actually when I was literally 12 years old. Um, I, I began on forums mainly, so... The initial start of how I actually got involved was my mom um, was an accountant. She worked, she worked for an accounting firm. She became a partner in an accounting firm, um, but she just hated it. Like She didn't want to do that job anymore, so she wanted to set up her own business. Um, and as you do, she decided to manufacture furniture, like randomly make sofas, couches for the American viewers. Um, so she decided she wanted to make sofas. She started making them. Um, right. She needed a website, so she hired a company in the UK. They, they charged her over £10,000 for a website at the time. Wow. Which t- to £10,000? Yeah, yeah. To, for, a sm- for a small, to medium-sized business. It was like a very basic e-commerce site with PayPal. Like, that was all that was really on there. It should have been 2000 at most kind of thing. Yeah, it was um, 10, Yeah, it was, it was very expensive. Um, and then they wanted £8,000 a month for SEO. Um, and this was in, like, you know, this is 2000 and fucking God knows what, like 2006, 2007. Right. Um, so this was a long, long time ago. Um, and and obviously at the time, SEO was not that difficult. To, yes, yes. It was it not was worth £8,000 yeah. a month. You know, that's over $10,000 a, a month. And that was, bear in mind, at the time of conversion rates, that was well over $10,000 a month at the right. time. Right, right. Um, so she basically came to me and said, look, Charles, you're good with computers. I see you're fucking playing games all day. Like, what are you doing? Um, why don't you do some work for me? See if you can do this SEO. I'll give you some money. It was like £500 or something at the time, you know, wow. $700 or something. A lot of money to me as a kid, um, yes. but not a lot of money in SEO in general. Um, so she made, so I did it, and uh, I actually succeeded in ranking this website with the help of forums and with the help of uh, specifically a guy called Todd Foster, um, who now own, owns one of Canada's biggest agencies. He owns CA SEO. Um, they're, yeah. they're, they've got over... Uh, they've got over 450 clients now. Like they're they're, wow. they're massive. Um, but he was my original mentor. He's only, he, bear in mind he's only four or five years older than myself. So at the time he was like 16. I was 12. We're both from the UK. He moved to Canada when he was 19. Um, and he basically got me straight involved with SEO. But he was more of a black cat. So he was like spamming stuff with GSA. He was like, GSA, yes, yeah, yes. Using we even had something called uh, Wiki Blaster. I think it was at yes, the time. Like, yeah, like yes. it was lo- very yeah. famous tool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lo- loads of these weird tools and stuff for, for just spamming the hell out of Google. Um, and very little on page. We've got honest. Like we, we right. used to optimize the meta title in the description, but not right. even do content optimization. Not even do image optimization. Nothing like that. We were just spamming links. Spamming um, links. And it worked. To be, to be honest, it worked. Like it worked really, really well. And my mom went from. Um, you know, she went from three employees. She's now got 75 employees. Wow. Uh, Ten years later, yeah. And during most of it, at the very start, was because of me doing the SEO on it. Like, she was doing some Google AdWords and stuff, but the, right. the profit margins on the AdWords was terrible. Um, you know, she's making 10, 20 pounds on a sofa couch, which is really, really low um, for, for such a big, heavy object that you've got to ship and everything as well. So we ended up just putting all of this budget into SEO, and she was selling 250 sofas a month just wow. from SEO. So um, that's, that had huge profit margins for her, and it allowed her to expand. She's got now multiple warehouses, multiple businesses, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. But now, if you see in 2020, like, spamming is hard. Like, oh, yeah, really so difficult. what yeah, do you yeah. think about, like, in 2020, like, PBM, like, these kind of things are going to work out, like? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so I think... Modern day black hat is very different. It's so, very different. Yes, yeah, so, so it's not really spamming anymore. And to an extent, I'm not even really a black hat because I, so all my websites, so the website itself, the content, the on page is all white hat. Like it's all really good on page. Like, you right. know, I've got some of the best on page experts in the world that I work with, like Daniel yes. Cutridge and people like that. Yes. Um, and, we, and we just smash the on page 100%. But then it's all powered by like spam paid for links, PBNs, you know, uh-huh. created links with social profiles and citations and things like that. It's all black cat link building because at the end of the day, a PBN is black cat, buying course, links yes, is black cat. Yes, Anything yes, that is, any, any link building as a fact. So even if you're doing guest post outreach, that's still black cat. Like it's, you know, yeah, yes. it's still violating Google's guidelines. It doesn't yes. matter if you're paying for it or not. Right. Um, so any, any form of link building is, uh, unless it's, you know, you're, you're building, sponsoring a charity or something, can you get them a link from that kind of stuff? Google will allow you to get away with that kind of stuff. Um, but I think it will still work. I think it will, it will just be a lot more difficult. Um, yes. And the, the one thing I will say, it will be a lot more difficult for new people. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so anyone who's just coming in SEO in the last year, last it's two years, difficult. it's it's going to be next to impossible because if like if you're going into one niche, that's fine. You know, you're building your one niche yes, site, you can yes, build it up, you yes, can do all that, yes. you can just focus all your energy on that. Right, right. You only need the connection 
into that one industry. Right. But e- even if you're doing an agency kind of level right. stuff, right. you need to be doing link building for all these different clients, industries, all these different clients, right. outreach. Right. You need right. to research it. You need to check it's not like a YMYL niche, for example, right. Right. where you have to do completely different on-page optimization. Right. You need right. to do your topical authority. You need to have contacts for your content, for your links, for your on-page technical development, web design. Like, it's huge. You need to have huge, so much yes. connections and so much knowledge that it's very, very difficult for anyone new just to just to get involved in SEO properly nowadays unless you go and work for like an agency and get trained right. up or something. Yeah. And what do you think like in 2020 like what should be the ratio for links like no follow and do follow because there's a lot of controversy um, here like no follow do follow like what yeah. should be your like So so I, I I don't aim for a specific ratio overall um and also that there there is an argument to be said that yes. like that, that ratios um don't necessarily work because for example if, if you're I'm looking at a hf's anchor anchor cloud yeah, where it uh, says you have four percent exact match anchor exact ratio, match, yes, yeah, yes, yes. that's kind of bullshit because if you look deeper on they're counting the same link from that blog post on the category page on yes. the admin page on the archive three page on the archive uh, four, four page, four, four page yes, yeah exactly so it's just going map. on and on yes. whereas realistically google aren't counting those they're only counting the main link that it indexes main first okay. so your your anchor text ratio and your no follow do follow ratio etc is completely thrown off on those tools to what it realistically is so if we're starting any site from scratch now so when we start any site from scratch we control every link that is built at it so every link we have in a spreadsheet will say if it's no follow it's do follow we'll oh. give the anchor text we'll give the site it's from we'll give the root domain so that we can mash check the root domains for anyone right, that's been right, penalized right um we'll, we'll monitor every link especially if there's links being built out of site from someone else yes so yes. if we have a spammy competitor building sites we'll even monitor them we'll monitor the random rss feed that has picked us up because some blogger has mentioned our image yes. we'll monitor every link that we can so that we have the exact data that no one else has yeah. Because at the end of the day, you're, if you're checking your anchor text ratio on HFs, it's not correct. And we're checking our anchor text ratio on our own document where we have every link that site has ever gotten. Right. We have the exact anchor text ratio that we realistically have. And that allows us so much more insight into the campaign. Because for the newbies right now, I feel like in 2020, it's very hard to rank a new domain with like zero authority, nothing. Like, yeah. So what do you want to say? Like buying, buying an expired domain is very helpful? Uh, so, so I wouldn't go expired. Uh-huh. A- age domains. Age domains, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, okay. so age domains work. Um, but if you're a newbie and you're just getting started and you and you don't have budget and you're starting... Yeah, they don't and, have yeah, the money, right? Exactly, sure. right. Yeah. So, so then you have to go the new domain. It's very hard. like Because, because, be... because otherwise you're going to be spending $1,000, $2,000 on an least, age domain that's niche relevant. Exactly, yes. yeah. Yes, of course. Um, so you have to go... You have to start from the beginning. But what you can do is you can do trust signals. So something that everyone seems to have forgotten about is the signals that allows Google to verify that you're a real website. Yes. So yes. an SSL certificate, your SSL. your topical authority, all your content interlinking properly, making sure you're making sure it's working properly. Um, the start of your site's backlinks. If you're if you're building a brand new website, yes. And and your first few links are like a DA twenty guest post. That's probably not going to do much because you're on a brand new domain, and that that domain isn't authoritative enough and isn't relevant enough to pass you the juice that you need. Juice, yes. So when we're starting out, we're trying to earn big bucks links. Now I'm not saying you know you need to go and get a Forbes article. Forbes, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying you need to go get it's DR95. Of course, it's yeah. Very... But but you can create a really good piece of content. Uh-huh. And this is very white out of me to say, um, but you can then use that piece of content to outreach to bigger sites, broken link building, uh, anything broken like link that. building. Yeah. Yes. So so and anything that's free because you can use Mailshake rather than using Pitchbox, Mailshake, which yeah, is two hundred dollars a month. Yes. You can you can use Google Analytics. You can yes. use webmaster tools yes. you can use excel you can yes. google sheets yes. even if you can't afford microsoft office you can still use google sheets for free of course free yeah yes. exactly so so there's all these tools that you can use for free that you don't realistically need other tools to do it and even when it comes to keyword research yes. a lot of people are like how do i do keyword research I when i don't have google. a hrefs you just search it on google search google on gives you google related lot of terms things related so you can use exactly, those because yeah. a lot of times i i don't use the keyword search tool i just see no, yeah. what people are searching on google like yeah. related searches like so yeah. that's the, that, that are your keywords, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 100%. And, and, and then you can also find other topics to write right. about that is similar to that topic. Right. That then you can internal link back to that piece, which adds more topical authority, adds more internal juice, all those kind of things as well. And also, for example, if you have an affiliate website right. and you're trying to rank, and you don't have any money, but you're trying to rank this page, let's say about the best vacuum cleaners 2020, right? Yes. If you don't have any money, um, but you have time and you have dedication and you have patience. Right. All you have to do is start building content, internally linking that content back to the main post because that takes yes, time, yeah? Yes. And, and, and then using those pieces, which are much easier to get free links for, 
to get links to the, those supporting pieces which supporting are about answering questions uh, to about guides like to how to build link. a vacuum cleaner yourself yeah. all of these kind of things that you can do um, you, those kinds of pages are much easier to get links to than they are right. than it is to get a link to the best vacuum cleaners you know there's there's uh, you can listen to me now there's not going to be a single blogger that is going to give you a free link to your best vacuum of cleaner course. reviews 2020 of course they like will charge you the money because exactly, everyone is, yeah. needs needs yeah. money for backlinks but like. but they won't charge you the money if you've got a really good piece of content about right about how to build vacuum clean to something and they've got an each relevant blog and they've got a broken link anyway it broke, makes sense so for them to go in and fix it it's yeah a, so they yeah. can do it like i I did, I did that at the start you know when i didn't have any cash and when i didn't have anything i would just do as much free stuff as i could free. or even more so what i would actually do is i'd work with seos who have the links so i so i know that that i know that matt diggity he has the yes. pbns of course, I know, he has the pbns I, yeah right. I, I know that this guy has you know the the guest posts for my niche right i'll pm them i'll be like what work do you need doing? Like, you know, right. do you need some on-page? Do you need an audit? Do you need me to write content for you? I have time, but I don't have money. So, so you can pay, yes. Yeah, so I'll give my, my time for the, their services. And 90% of the time, those kind of people will do it for you. Like, they just yes. will, because it makes sense. That makes sense to them, mm -hmm. right? So what is the number one strategy that is working for you in 2020 in terms of link building? Like, if you um, want to choose the, the one strategy, like? Probably tiered link building. Tier link building. Yeah, so so I'm not talking about like Matthew Woodward's tutorial. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's on tiered link building. Yeah, it's ranking on the top of Google, right? Yeah, so, I know. So yeah. Um, so yeah. I'm not talking about that kind of tiered link building. I'm talking about like high quality tiered link high building. High quality, yes. Yeah. So so, a, um, one of the major things I see when we get clients is uh -huh. that they'll have they'll already have links. For example, we just got a client recently. They're a skincare they're a skincare client, massive, skincare. huge, oh, huge skincare client. But they've they've only got a hundred of phone domains. And they rank for nothing basically. They just they spend a hundred thousand dollars a month on AdWords, and they get maybe a thousand visits from Google organic. Right? Oh, really? They're spending tons of money on AdWords, but they don't get Shit. much of anything off of Google organic. Um, and what I noted was because they were spending so much money on advertising, and because their CEO had like done quotes for Cosmopolitan, and he'd done quotes for Forbes, and he'd done this and stuff, they had some really fucking good links, like really strong links. Of course. But but. And, and there was not much point in us trying to get these links because they've already got them. So what we did was we got niche relevant niche edits. So we got skincare related to niche edits and then we powered up those links. links so so, like, so, they were, yeah. so they, these are real sites, right. real articles, aged articles. Uh, We'd insert the link onto those aged articles, yes, so link back to the Cosmopolitan article, for example. And that Cosmopolitan article, we go to the homepage and then the homepage shot up in Google because we had all these links funneling to it. Funny and on, on, on its own, a Cosmopolitan link is pretty good. Like, right. you know, it's a good signal. Right. But if it's, if it's a new article, it doesn't have any internal links. Of course. So it's not yes. been powered up by the rest of the site. Yes. It doesn't have any backlinks. Yes. And if it does, they're generally like syndicated by like random other press release sites or like random stuff that just copy the article exactly right. word for word right. and right. move it over, Shit. which is, isn't a good backlink. Yes. Um, or, or it just doesn't have anything whatsoever. So, so right. what we did, all we did was put a couple of links each each post, mm -hmm. and those links became infinitely more powerful. You know, I'm talking ten times, twenty times more powerful than uh, they were previously on their previously, own. Previously, okay. Yeah, and and the site went from under a thousand visits a day, around a thousand visits a day. Uh, sorry, around a thousand visits a month, month to, to now thirty thousand visits a month with, wow. with, within three months. Looks like it's yeah. So, Massive so, growth. Yeah, it's huge growth. Um, and all we did was on page and tier two link building. We didn't even right. build any links direct at all. Like because yeah. they already have the links. So they already they, they already have the power. They just haven't the activated funneling. that yes. power. If you know what I mean. So links yeah. funneling, right? And, and, yeah, exactly. And, and we turned the so if you look at Ahrefs, you look at Moz. Ahrefs has UR, which is URL rating, and Moz has PA, which is page authority. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the page authority and the, and the URR of those was like 10, 20, you know, because, yeah. and it's because of the root authority. It's not because right. they have any links. Right. After we'd done the link building, they were like, you are 40. PA 40, PA 50, do you know what I mean? Because we'd put these really powerful links powerful tier links. two. But they're not that expensive. You know, they're like $100 a link or so for this kind yeah. of stuff. And this guy and this client has a massive budget for SEO. Um, and they and they haven't had any SEO work done previously. So yeah. we have like a blank slate, basically, where we can just do whatever we want. Yes. And so the tier link building, testing, right? Yeah, right. and the tier link building was the most powerful part of that entire campaign because they already had the links. And, and if, if we wanted to go yeah. and get a link on Cosmo, yes. Cosmopolitan, it would cost $2,000. Of course, yeah. it's expensive. Yeah. And, and sure. all we had to do is put four 
hundred dollars of links at the tier two at this link already. Yeah, so that's a tier two link building. Exactly, right? yeah, and it smashes it every time, yeah. But but it's again, it's not you can't like spam Web two point oh anymore. You can't like blast wiki wiki links at them that kind of stuff. Just tier like Parasite two. SEO, it don't work. No, like... it, it doesn't work like that anymore. You have to do high quality tier twos. Like you have to keep the quality consistent along all the tiers. Okay. Otherwise, the link just goes dead. Like that link will pass a negative signal, or it just won't pass a signal at all, which is what you really don't want. <laughs> right, totally true. Yeah. So 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 Charles, can we talk about that conference that that you? Planning to do like a white hat, grey hat stuff like so can we talk about this conference on this video? Is it okay for you? Yeah, like, so so basically it's it's at DMSS. Okay. So next year so we're next currently year, yes. we're currently at DMSS, this is the beautiful DMSS yeah, ballroom. It's very beautiful, yeah. yeah. Um and and uh, Gary Ellis was just on stage um from Google, who's a <laughs> from Google engineer. Google. Yeah. Um and I basically went over to him and asked him, you know, can I take a picture with you and listen to stuff? Um no. and yeah, <laughs> He, he at first said no. <laughs> um, I convinced him a little bit. And we also then spoke to Bree, who's the organizer of yes, DMSS, Bree, yep. uh, Bree Moreau. And he basically came up with an idea of doing a Google versus Black Hat SEO AMA. So like a Reddit AMA. Ask Me Anything. Yes. So not necessarily a debate between me and Gary, because yeah. that might not work out the best. No, no. It's um, like yeah, so, so instead, we're just going to have an AMA where people can ask questions, no phones allowed, no, no one's allowed to tweet, allowed no one's allowed to video record, yeah, there's no, so no audio, no microphone, nothing. Because it, it should be very private, like, it's like secrets yeah, exactly, will be spilled yeah. out, like, people will be sharing, okay, I have done yeah. this link building and this is how I tricked Google. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah, so, yeah, so he, so we just want it off the record kind of thing, yeah, um, so but we're, we're planning to do that DMSS 2020. So, so it's yeah, DMSS so, 2020, yes. Yeah, so, so Bali, October 2020. So get ready for black yeah. head, grey head, white head, everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. So thanks so much, Charles. Like you, you share a lot of great stuff in white head, grey head, and I read your blog. Like you have shared a very good knowledge about SEO. Like I have learned, learned so many things here. Like to thank be you, very yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much, Charles. And yeah, it was a pleasure well. to meet you and see you in Chiang Mai. Yeah, see you in Chiang Mai. SEO, in yeah. SEO conference. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Yeah.